Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Ravi Shankar. In this presentation, I will demonstrate how to run scorecard from Analyx tool. Agenda goes like this. What is scorecard? Times used in scorecard. How to configure scorecard and scorecard notification. First, we'll learn about what is scorecard. A scorecard measures performance against goals. Typically, a scorecard displays graphic indicator that visually convey the overall success or a failure of an organization in its effort to achieve a particular goal. What is the definition of scorecard in terms of data quality? A scorecard will help the business user measure performance against its goals. It is a graphical representation of valid values for a column in a data set. In DQ, scorecard displays the value frequency for column as a scores. These scores reflect the percentage of valid values in the columns. Now we learn about times used in scorecard. What is a metric? A metric is a column of a data source or output of the rule that is part of a scorecard. What is score? It indicates the percentage of valid values in data set for a metric. What is metric weight? We can assign a weight to a metric by associating weights to metric. It denotes relative importance one over the other within a group. What is metric group? We can categorize related metrics in a scorecard into a set. This is called a metric group. By default, the analyst tool categorizes all the scores in a default metric group. Now we will learn about how to calculate it, weighted averages for each metric. For example, if you have a, assign a weight W1 to metric M1 and you assign a weight W2 to a metric M2, the analyst tool uses below formula to calculate weighted average that is M1 into W1 plus M2 into W2 divided by W1 plus W2. What is metric threshold? Metric threshold is nothing but we are assigning weights to the values. Let's talk about 95 to 100, we are categorizing as, as good. 85 to 94, we are categorizing as an acceptable one. 0 to 84, as an unacceptable. What is trend chart? Trend chart for these each scores used to monitor how the score changes over a period of time. For example, if you look at the trend chart, it shows a graphical representation and this points the previous ones, the star indicates the pointed value of a particular run. If you look at the previous scores are for the December and the star indicates the pointed one, the current score and next score is mentioned here. And now we will talk about scorecard weighted metrics. Weighted metrics are very much relative applied at the metric level. For example, if you can see, these are the metrics, customer ties, city, state and country. The weights are assigned 40, 40 and 20 and 0 respectively for each metric. And metric weights rolls up to group level. Default weight will be 0. We can modify this. Weights can be defined during creation or during the flow of the scorecard. Now, we will talk about scorecard valid value selection. If you look at the city, country, customer, trade and state and these are the values. And earlier we have a limit on selecting of values up to 200. Now it has been removed from 951 onwards. These are the toggle buttons are there to move the values. Now I will show you demo on how to run scorecard 
using matrix and matrix groups. Now the demo here I have chosen a project demo scorecard and I have already run a profile and I am going to use this profile for running scorecards. So this is the profile definition. Now I am going to run a scorecard. The steps I have chosen a scorecard, add scorecard button. Now the screen will come and I have chosen new scorecard and I am giving the name demo support video. So I am choosing the column names, these are nothing but matrix in scorecard times see these are the values that I am going to add all the values for the country and the D name finally the name Now I click next and here I have an, an option to add a metric group. I am just adding test metric group. Okay. Next. Here if you look at the as I said the weights are relative. We have an option to add the weight. So I am assigning country 40, name 40 and D name 20. Now I have an option to configure thresholds. I have marked 90, 90 as my goal and 85 to 89 is acceptable, 0 to 84 are unacceptable. Now save yeah if you look at now the scorecard is being saved and we have to run the scorecard so I have an option to run the scorecard from here so I am running on the live data It takes some time to run the scorecard. So here you see the values for the name in country and D name. So I have an option to see the trend chart. See it is taking some more time to load the data. See since we are running it the first time it only shows the current value. So what I will do now is I will show you which is already been run. Okay, wait for some time. If you look at the scorecard, demo scorecard one, which I already run twice. So now we will examine the trend chart. So it is taking time to load the trend chart values for the particular metric called name. Yeah, see here if you look at this this is the star indicates whatever is the current values what is being there and these are the previous see the star is showing the values zero values because it didn't load anything if you click on here it will show you the values these are the next values this is how the trend chart looks like earlier when we ran the first time it is very much unacceptable. Second time also unacceptable. After improving that, the uh, profile and the results, now the trend chart has changed and the values also became good. So next, we'll move on to how to run the notification task from the scorecard. Yeah, what is a scorecard notification? Whenever you run a scorecard, right, we can notify that scorecard results. A scorecard notification settings help you to send emails 
when a specific matrix scores or a matrix group scores move across the threshold such as unacceptable, acceptable and good. We can configure email notification for individual metric scores in the metric groups. We can customize the notification settings so that the scorecard users get email notification when the scores move from unacceptable to acceptable and good score ranges. See the scorecard email alert. See in notification, see there are notification as I mentioned, we can configure for the both the metrics and metric groups. Here the metric group is default and we have other metrics groups and metrics. So we have an option to modify the global settings. See, after modifying the global settings, the edit window looks like and here the email, the sender who is going to send the notifications to whom it's going to and notification subject these are inbuilt you need not make any changes to this so the snippet of the mail goes like this once you run it and there would be a notification which would be going to your mailbox from the particular user here in this case skumari at informatica.com it's going to the sujata kumari and so before we send the notification we need to configure email server properties in the data integration service. These are the below. And configuration for enabling email can be done from admin console. The two attributes that needs to be forwarded in our SMTP server host name and send us email address. Now I'll show you the demo how to send the scorecard notification. In the notification, I have selected notification for the default, default metric group and the metrics name country d name and see i have used the global setting and i would be notified for the scores which are unacceptable and acceptable are good and i'm going to edit the settings now see i have selected for unacceptable acceptable good you have an option to choose whatever it is as i mentioned in the earlier the email from and now the email goes to our Neuralight Informatica. This everything would be remain same. This is auto generated. Okay. Now I will run it. Save and run. Once it is being run, it will be sending a notification. I will show you the notification email that pin came to my mail. This is the notification email which came from the scorecard. If you can see the scorecard name, demo scorecard 1, metric group default, current score is unacceptable, previous score is unacceptable, and metric name, country, and metric group name is demo metric group, and current score is 63.64, which is unacceptable, previous score also 63.64, which is unacceptable. That's how the email notification would be sent from the scorecard. In this presentation, I have demonstrated how to run scorecard and sending a notification task. And if you need any information about scorecard, you can refer to the help guide available from the both the developer client tool and analyst tool by referring to the section data explorer getting started guide. We love to hear you from you on your valuable feedbacks. You can send your feedback to support videos at Informatica or tweet us at twitter.com. Infrasupport. Thank you. Have a great day.